we were discussing one day of ideas of how to approach this um, production of St Edmund Campion and we suddenly thought wouldn't it be amazing to like put flesh um, on St Edmund Campion and these other people to have someone uh, put on a costume and portray him to actually be able to see him writing, writing his famous brag and Ten Reasons, uh, walking throughout Elizabethan history, and it would really bring history alive and, and make it real. So I asked a, um, a college friend, someone who went all through college with me, who's he's not someone of faith, but he, he loves the music side of things, and I said, would you be up for putting on a costume and going out with us and doing a bit of filming? And he was like, yeah, that's fine, I'll do that. So he came over one day, we arranged it, came over from the Isle of Wight and we went out with uh, him and my cousin. We had them in just a couple of Elizabethan costumes that we, we just acquired off the internet and um, we literally got a selection of uh, visual images of them portraying St Edmund Campion and, and brother Ralph um, travelling. Coming into England we went down to the sea to just portray St Edmund Camp Campion coming in off the boat uh, on the shore and then just their travels throughout uh, Elizabethan England and it was really really effective literally the moment we lined them up with the viewfinder and press record there was Edmund Campion for the first time in hundreds of years it was so real I stand on the edge of eternity, Lord. In only a few moments, I will see you face to face. I die your servant, a Catholic man and a Catholic priest. We arrived at Dover, passed through the police at the docks, and once out of view, I fell to my knees. It will not be long before we are hunted, Lord, I prayed. Week after week, this pace continued. Whenever I made my way back down to London, and past the infamous Tyburn tree. I would take off my hat and walk under the gallows in honor of the martyrs, knowing that it was here that I would have my final warfare.